My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather on this sacred day, our hearts are filled with joy for the three profound mysteries, each inviting us into a deeper contemplation and a richer understanding. First, we celebrate the institution of the Eucharist, the sacred gift of Christ's body and blood, given to us as a substance for our journey through life. In this simple act of sharing bread and wine, we are reminded of the depth of God's love for each one of us and the profound intimacy He desires to have with each one of us of His children. Secondly, we commemorate the institution of the ministerial priesthood entrusted with the solemn duty of perpetuating the Eucharist throughout life. This is a calling of a great responsibility and humility echoing Christ's own example of servant leadership. And thirdly, we reflect upon the commandment of fraternal charity, the commandment of love that binds us together as a community of believers. It is in this love that compels us to serve one another, to wash each other's feet in humble imitation of Christ's love. In today's Gospel, we encounter Jesus in a radical demonstration of leadership. Despite His divine nature, Jesus stoops down to wash the feet of His disciples, teaching us that true power is found in service and not in domination. This sacrificial love displays so vividly in His action, challenging us to re-evaluate our own understanding and authority and power. But it is not just about the act in itself. It is about the depth of love behind all it holds. Jesus does not just wash the feet of his disciples. He washes the feet of Judas, the one who was to betray Jesus. In this intimacy of love, we find a profound invitation to embrace even those who may hurt or betray us. My dear friends, as we reflect on these mysteries, let us not simply be spectators, but active participants. Let us heed to the call to emulate Christ's example of humility and love in our own lives. Let us seek out opportunities to serve one another, especially those who are in most need of it. Today, as we receive the Eucharist, let us remember the sacrificial love it represents and recommit ourselves to living out the love in our daily interactions. Let us be agents of reconciliation, healing and love to the world that desperately needs it. Let us carry the memory of Christ's humble service, His radical love and His unwavering commitment to all humanity as we go forth. Let us ask ourselves, how can we be more fully embody Christ's love in our daily lives? How can we serve others with humility and selflessness, extending love to all, even those who may be find in difficult situations or we find difficult to love each other? May we be inspired by the example of Jesus and may His sacrificial love empower us to be agents of reconciliation, healing and love to the world that desperately needs it. Amen.